What is going on, people? It's Elijah from my chargeback. Before we get started, please don't forget to click like and subscribe. And if you've been the victim of a scam, please click the link in the description below. Now, folks, as you can see, we are looking slick today. Because today, we are going to the bank, talking about bank wire recalls, and why you're probably going to need help from somebody like us to actually do that. So, we have our three big payment methods, right? We have our credit cards, bank wires, and cryptocurrency. We could throw in gift cards, but, you know, eh. So, I call bank card middle in terms of difficulty. All right, there is a theoretical situation where if you act within 24 hours of sending one, where it might be easier than, let's say, a complex chargeback, 9.9 uh, .9 times out of 10, it's not. Okay, now it's still regulated. All right, you're still working within something where there's a real legal framework, which everybody has agreed to. So this is good. All right. Now, I want to say this. Out of every 10 people who contacts us saying that they paid their scammer via bank wire, seven or eight usually end up being crypto where they ended up going and using a bank wire to buy crypto and then paying the scammer in crypto, in which case, it's a different thing altogether. But let's say you're one of the two or three that really did pay via bank wire, right? Okay, so whatever, uh, fake broker XYZ, digibit this, something or other that contacts you and over a period of three or four months, you pay them about $100,000 in a series of different wires. Okay, you cut on, uh, now what? Well, for starters, you're going to have to recognize that you do not have the same rights and protection under the bank wire stuff that you would have under the credit card. But no sense in crying over spilt milk because it's too late for that. You have to initiate what is known as a SWIFT recall. SWIFT being, of course, the monetary mechanism that everybody agrees on, everybody uses, that moves money throughout banks throughout the world. If you remember early on in the Russia-Ukraine war, the big talk, was removing Russian banks from SWIFT. It's that kind of important. Now, what makes bank wire recalls tough is that banks don't like to admit that they made mistakes. Your bank is not going to want to admit that they didn't throw up a huge red flag warning after they saw you send five transactions worth $5,000 a piece over a week to some bank, you know, I don't know, pick an offshore country. Go with that. And, uh, well, your scammer's bank? Oh, they do not want to admit that they have a client that is a scammer, because guess what? They kind of want to keep their clients, and they kind of don't want to have anybody investigating them. All right? Some of the biggest scams throughout history have gotten some pretty big banks in a lot of deep doo-doo. Now, what does all this mean for you? Well, what you really want is you want their account to be frozen and for that money to move back on the SWIFT payment system to your account, right? And on top of that, you want the scammer's bank to also kind of give you a little bit of a trace for further money laundering information and some info on the scammer. It's just pretty hard to do. There are a lot of rules about this and unless you know them chances are you're not going to be able to do it and certainly not when there's multiple things okay um what you will need is an entire i don't know a, a docket really of evidence showing wire fraud showing that you were defrauded and putting it in the context of those rules in a way that some clerk at a bank can actually understand because very often they don't understand all the rules that they should. That's why people like us exist who know the rules better. So what I'm really saying here is that if you've been defrauded, you've been scammed, you gave 100K to XYZ fake broker or Mr. or Ms. Wright, you should probably talk to us because banks are much more likely 
to talk to somebody who has made a whole bunch of successful bank fire recalls. All right. We've covered tens of millions for people, worked with 850 banks in over 100 countries across the globe. What I'm saying when it comes to the subject of bank wire recalls is you're probably going to want to talk to us. Let's leave it at that. Click the link below. And if you just enjoyed the video, because, you know, I'm looking so silky smooth, click like and subscribe. I've been Elijah. We'll see you next time.